everyone, this is Jack Wu, your host for Success Edge. Today I want to talk about what it takes to become a great salesperson as simple as step one, two, and three. And that's what I want to talk about today. Most people say they don't want to sell anything to anybody. Uh, but what they don't realize is that we are selling to different people every single day, believe it or not. You try to sell to your fiance's dad why he needs to agree on the marriage between you and his daughter. You're trying to sell the father-in-law to be. As an employee, you try to sell to your employer, your boss, why you should be getting a raise, but not other people. Believe it or not, your kids are selling to you as a parent why they need to have candy on a daily basis, why they need to have candy in the morning and afternoon when they shouldn't have. So if we are selling very naturally on our daily activities, on our daily life, wouldn't you think that you need to learn how to become a great salesperson in your career? I have been in the sales business for over 20 years now. Uh, at the beginning of my career, uh, I did not master the fundamental of sales and I struggle quite a lot you know i was not a lazy person i was always willing to put the time and sacrifice my time to do whatever it needs to be done to hopefully to get the results i was looking for so working hard wasn't my problem is mastering the art of closing deal and become a great salesperson was something that i had to learn over the last many many years and i want to teach you three steps Remember this, first, you gotta develop a pleasing and life personality. If you kind of watch different top producers in different companies, you realize one thing in common, okay? Is that they all have a life and pleasing personality. Now, they might be different in nationality, educational background, it doesn't even matter. But one thing I share with you everybody has in common is their personality they are very very live they're not boring you know what i'm saying and when they meet people they find an instant way to connect with people you know truly sincerely try to care about other people find out what other people want instead of what you want and when you start to naturally have that personality uh, success will come your way automatically and naturally second step you gotta develop a simple but effective sales presentation. It don't matter if you're a real estate agent, an insurance agent, a car salesperson, mortgage loan officer, retail sales, you have to have a simple but effective presentation. And I see it all the time in my last 20 years. I see people uh, try to sell something and they make it so complicated at the end of their presentation, their consumers and their clients are confused. They don't even know exactly what they're trying to say. And remember this, people don't buy from you for two reasons. Number one, they don't trust you. Number two, they don't understand you. You have to do whatever it takes to learn from your mentors, the people who's in your company, who's top notch, who's willing to teach you a very, very simple but powerful effective presentation and the way I did over the last 20 years uh, is that I learned from so many different people you know one person's style might fit me the other person's style might not fit me it doesn't matter I went through so many different presentations and learning from so many different people at the end I was able to pick the best from each presenter and able to compose into my own style and when I did that I was in control of my sales presentation. And the last step and the final step uh, for you to be a great salesperson one day is to learn the art of closing. You can do all the presentation you want. You can do all the fancy talk you want. You probably even understand the product inside out a thousand percent. But if you don't understand how to close the deal, how to ask for the check, how to direct your consumer into a stage where they're gonna make the final commitment to your service and your product, everything else means nothing. So learn how to close. 
it might as simple as maybe just ask for the check, maybe use the assumptive clause, maybe uh, just simply you know show the value of your product to other consumer. And remember this: if people understand the value of your product and why they need to have it, cost is never an issue. I mean, if you look at this, why would somebody want to live in a house? Let's say in California, that's two million dollars house versus another house only cost three hundred thousand dollars in another place that's extremely, extremely isolated, but just nothing much going on there. People buy a two million dollars house because the weather is great in California, the restaurants amazing, the lifestyle is amazing. You walk out of the house, there's so much things happening every single day, and that's why people are willing to spend those money for the value. So remember, if you want to be a great personal producer. Learn how to close a deal by understanding how do you present the value of what you try to show your client. So remember those three things. Step number one: develop a pleasing and live personality. Number two: develop a simple but effective sales presentation. And lastly, but not least, learn the art of closing. If you like my message and this episode, please click like at the bottom. And if you missed my last week's episode of Success Edge, please click on the left hand side. Until next time, guys, I want to see you at the next episode of Success Edge, and I wish every single one of you a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.